The next product I'm going to show you is our XGuard 2.0 system. And this system is fairly more robust than our color guard system. It can span greater distances. So in this case, I'm going to skip a seam and I'll install uh, on every other seam. The setup is, is just like color guard initially. I'm going to install my first row of clamps, which would be at the bottom. They're going to be up here because we've got this in place. But again, they'd be 6 to 12 inches from the eave. So my clamps are in place. Now, what I've found seems to work the best with this product is to start my clamp in the bracket, my second clamp. This utilizes two clamps, which is part of why it's stronger. I'm going to go ahead and preload, making sure my set screws are on the right side on certain profiles. It is critical your set screws are on one side. This one it's not. In general, you're going to start with your end assembly, and you'll go ahead and throw your next bolt in with everything still loose. From there, and especially on longer assemblies, I like to preload the brackets with the bars. And the reason is, for the whole reason of sliding the Versa clip can be tough. If you preload these on the ground as opposed, or not even on the ground, but in a basket or separate from trying to monkey with them on the roof at the same time, it makes life way easier because you've got two components now, well, three, that you're trying to work with. So I'll slide that one close to the middle. This one's going to be closer to the end, and then we need the other bar. Okay. So now you're going to move this into place, and we're going to need a bolt, David. Two bolts. And then jiggle and work your bars all the way down. Once you get your bars where you need them, then you worry about moving your brackets into place. Then rotate it all down. At this point, I come back, put my front bolts in, and tighten them down. From this point, it's just a matter of tightening the last two set screws on the clamp. I work it back to the back of the bracket. Nothing says you have to, but. Now I'll come back and tighten my last bolt. Okay, now with this system, it comes with a splice as well. Um, so to continue on, you put your splice in, it stops you so you don't put it in too far, run your next piece. And approximately every 50 feet, you want to run a screw into the top of the, the bar. There's pre-punched holes in these brackets. What that does, again, is keep it from moving too much. It'll allow it to move thermally but it'll keep it from sliding from one end to the other or out of a bracket. This product also has two different snow clip options. So it slides on there. There's a, a slot back here for a screw.
that's how the snow clip's installed. So we'll do, again, you do one on every pan. And this I always do last. Once the whole thing is up, you've got something you can sit behind and work and do it from the back end. Um, they go up pretty quick, as you see. And that is the X-Card system.